Yo, what's up guys, and this is Kibor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a craft bucket server for Minecraft. This is pretty much the choice server for me, other than like Tech It probably, just because they have a vast variety of mods you can put in your server. But, well, here we go. First, we're going to go, if you click on the link in the description, it will link you to this wiki page. Uh, you want to click on Craft Bucket Recommended Build right here. You can click on that, and it's gonna come. it should come up here as a download. You want to click Keep. And as that downloads, we're going to go back to your desktop, and we're going to make a new folder. And we're going to name this server, or whatever you want for Minecraft, like Minecraft server, it's up to you. Um, we're just going to go and click on that and open that up. And we're going to wait for this to download, and it should, yep, it's done right there. And it's uh, we're going to go ahead and go the little arrow and show in folder. This is only if you have Chrome, but if you don't have Chrome, uh, you go to your C, users, or whatever, and, or just go to your downloads right here on the side. Um, if you click on download, you scroll down, you find Craft Bucket. Um, the one quick thing though, the record you every update for Minecraft, you're gonna want to go to the bucket forums, and you want to keep you have to keep your server updated. Um, I'll show you how to update your server here at the end, but it, yeah, just a heads up. Um, if you don't want to deal with that, I suggest going to the regular Minecraft server. But okay, as we're saying, you want to drag this. You want to drag your download into your folder and place it. And then next, you're going to do new text document in there. And we're just going to name it start. And then we go over and name it dot bat. It's going to be a bat file called start. And yes, I want to change. We're going to go to right click and edit. And then you want to copy what's in the description. And then you want to paste it in there. Uh, it's, there's a couple lines of text. It's just pretty much saying to start the craft bucket. But what you want to make sure, though, is if you're right here where it says program files, um, if you're running like a 32-bit on a 64-bit, or pretty much if you don't know, just go to your C. And if you have program files uh, times 86 down there, you just want to go after program files. If you have like what I do, if you don't, you don't want to do anything. You just put parentheses times parentheses x86 and then close it off with a parenthesis uh, before that percent sign at the end of program files. Uh, but if you don't, again, just leave that plain. We're going to go ahead and save that. We're going to run it. Um, hold on. Go back to edit it. Oh, one quick thing. You want to go to click rename on the thing, and then control C and copy the name of this, the name of the jar, and then right here where it says this, you want to just not the dot. You don't want to delete the dot jar. You want to cr delete craft bucket, and then paste in what you copied, and it should be the name of this folder dot jar, or not folder the dot jar file, and just go ahead and save that, and then now run it, and it should run. Yep, as it's loading everything up. Uh, real quick, here's the server properties right here. If you want to mess with these, uh, like in the other videos, I've shown you server IP. You want to put in your Hamachi IP. Or whatever. Um, I run it off Hamachi. Of so if you don't, if you want to make it live, you want to put whatever IP in there. If you don't know how to make it live, I have a Hamachi tutorial on my uh, my channel. Yeah, you can go ahead and watch that. Game mode, game mode zero set by default. If you put it on one, should be creative. Uh, online mode. If you put it on false, that means every if you have a friend that has a pirated version of Minecraft or whatever, they just didn't feel like buying it for some reason, then you can go ahead and put false, and they can go ahead and, um, they should be able to join. Uh, everything else, you know, you can change it your own free will, um, mess around around with it if you want, it's your server. But here we go, it's done, so your server should be up and running. Oh yeah, one, one real quick thing I forgot, well, two actually. Uh, every time Minecraft puts out an update, uh, you're... Unfortunately, your plugins and everything have to be updated, so it's a real pain of actually using the craft bucket. But every update of Minecraft, if you go to the bucket forums, which will also be in Jeremiah, which should also be in the uh, the the description. Sorry, I lost my train of thought with that. Uh, you'll it'll link you to here, and you can go ahead and it'll say like they're really good within about a couple hours maybe to a day if they're being a little, if they're a little bit slow on that uh, they'll have an update for it you download it and then what you do is you'll download it just like the regular and you can keep it 
Uh, while that downloads, pretty much what you want to do is you want to completely take out, where is it? You want to take out your old one right here. Just go ahead and delete that. Okay. Well, first you got to stop your server, which you probably won't have it running anyways. But don't ever exit out of your server. Just click, type in stop and enter in there, and it'll save everything. But you want to delete it, and then that should be done downloading right down here. We're going to go ahead and show in folder. Which is the this is the exact same thing, same one I had, but you move it in there, and then you do the same thing you did starting up the server. You rename it, go to rename, but don't actually rename it. Just copy the name, go to back, go to the start, edit, and then put in the name, which is it's the same thing, but it will be different with there's a different different version, and you click and start, and it should run up everything, uh, and then if you want to put in a plugin. It's plugins up there. You want to go to the forums again. You go to forums. You scroll down a little bit. It says get plugins here. Uh, you click. You find. There's a lot of them. So you find one you want. Like I want fake messaging. Make messenger here. Download. Download. Should download down here. Keep it. Uh, show it in folder. Uh, go to your server. Go to plugins. And just move that dot jar bat or dot jar into there, and then when you run the server next, it'll run up that plugin, and it should be in there. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.